Welcome to the fascinating world of trilobites and ancient fossils. Today, we're diving deep into the Paleozoic era, a time when these incredible creatures roamed the oceans, leaving behind a legacy etched in stone. Join us as we explore the Cambrian, Ordovician, and Devonian periods, and uncover the secrets of trilobites, ammonites, crinoids, and more. Over 500 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, life on Earth exploded in diversity. This was the age of the trilobite, an arthropod that dominated the oceans. With their hard exoskeletons and segmented bodies, trilobites became one of the most successful creatures of their time, thriving for nearly 300 million years. Trilobites came in all shapes and sizes. Some were as small as a fingernail, while others grew to over two feet long. Their fossils tell us stories of adaptation, survival, and extinction. Each species had unique features, spines, eyes, and intricate patterns that helped them navigate their underwater world. Preparing these fossils is an art and a science. It requires patience, precision, and a deep respect for the past. Every chip of rock removed reveals more about these ancient creatures and the environments they lived in. But trilobites weren't alone. They shared the oceans with ammonites, crinoids, and other incredible creatures. Ammonites, with their spiral shells, were the jet-propelled swimmers of their time. Crinoids, often called sea lilies, swayed with the currents, filtering food from the water. Fossils like these are found all over the world, from the deserts of Morocco to the cliffs of North America. Each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle of Earth's history, helping us understand how life evolved over millions of years. These fossils are more than just ancient relics, they're windows into a world long gone. They remind us of the resilience of life and the ever-changing nature of our planet. One of the most fascinating things about trilobites is their eyes. Some species had compound eyes made of calcite, giving them a unique way to see the world. These eyes could detect movement and light, helping them survive in the predator-filled oceans of the Paleozoic era. Like modern arthropods, trilobites grew by molting, shedding their exoskeletons as they grew larger. This process left behind countless fossilized molts, which are often mistaken for the trilobites themselves. These molts provide valuable clues about their growth and behavior. Over time, trilobites evolved to adapt to changing environments. During the Ordovician period, they developed more complex body structures, while in the Devonian, some species became highly specialized. But despite their success, trilobites eventually faced extinction, disappearing at the end of the Permian period in the largest mass extinction in Earth's history. Finding a trilobite fossil is like holding a piece of history in your hands. Each discovery is a reminder of the incredible journey life has taken on our planet. And for fossil hunters and scientists, it's a moment of connection to a world that existed long before humans. Preparing these fossils is a labor of love. It can take hours, days, or even weeks to reveal the intricate details hidden within the rock. But the result is worth it, a stunning glimpse into the past that can be studied and admired for generations to come. Fossils like these aren't just for scientists, they inspire curiosity in all of us. They spark questions about where we come from and how life on Earth has changed over billions of years. And for many, they ignite a lifelong passion for paleontology and the natural world. If you're inspired by these ancient creatures, why not start your own fossil journey? Visit a local museum, join a fossil hunt, or even start your own collection. You never know what secrets you might uncover. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more adventures into the ancient world. Until next time, keep exploring.